What is up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. I have not posted in a hot minute, okay? I am so glad to be back. Your girl needed a social media break and I took one and I feel so great, okay? I'm not even exaggerating, all right? I feel so great that I even did my hair. I look like f***ing Martha Stewart, okay? But this is what we're gonna work with, okay? I tried to do like a little blowout and the blowout blew me out. So let me know in the comments how you guys like my hair. This is the best I can do, but whatever. New hair, new me. I mean, it's crazy how 30 days of no scrolling will f***ing do to your brain, okay? I feel like I am reborn, all right? No scrolling needs to be a verse in the Bible, okay? It really does. It needs to be one of the commandments because it works, all right? We also have a new background. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be here forever. I just wanted to kind of switch things up. I was kind of tired of just being in my little shack in my closet and you guys looking at just my shower curtain and my f***ing closet door. So I thought to, you know, make it a little different. So I don't know, let me know how you guys feel about the new background and the new hair in the comments but anyway let's get to this video so before i went on my break a lot of you guys were asking me girl what do we need to smell like and look like for this summer so that's what this video is about but instead of like making you buy things because over the month I was seeing so many videos of just like overconsumption and just how people are just hoarders with self care. From somebody that is a hoarder herself with self care, I agree, okay? Sometimes it could just be too much. So, as you guys can see by the title, we are going over only five things you need to look and smell good this summer without breaking the bank, all right? I got you, okay? Look, the economy is economing, all right? You don't need 16 body washes, 10 perfumes. You do need 10 perfumes. Anyway, you don't need 10 body washes, 10 body lotions. You don't need all of that, okay? These five things that I'm gonna tell you right now is like, what is, it, it, it's like, what the f am I trying to say? It's what you're gonna need for this summer, okay? Just keep watching, all right? Cause you're gonna agree with me by the end of this video. So let's get started. So the first tip I have for how to smell good this summer without breaking the bank or putting a hole in your pocket is to narrow down what scents you wanna smell like. Narrow down to your top two or three scents that you know you're not gonna get sick of smelling like every single day. I think that is the best way to really manage and not break the hole in your pocket and not become a hoarder, all right? Because it's so easy just to go in a store and smell something really good like a lavender, or I don't know, a, a woody scent, and be like, oh my gosh, this smells good. But you know you're never gonna wear it and that's not your favorite scent. That's how the hoarder problem starts, all right? Just the same way as you think of your finances when you have to sit down when you're trying to budget your finances and you're trying to figure out what you need to stop spending money on. That's the same mental process that you need to think about when it comes to self-care and things you wanna buy, all right? Pick two or three scents that you know, like I said, that you know you're not gonna get tired of this summer so it can help you stop being a self-care big bag. Okay, yeah, you know what I'm saying, all right? I know I wanna smell like florals this summer. I really don't have any other scents that I wanna smell like. If you are an advocate watcher of this channel, you know how much I love to smell like the Garden of Eden, okay? Without even it, because she's a <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Christians. Um, <laughs> But yes, I wanna smell like florals this summer. So all my body washes, all my lotions, all my deodorants and stuff is gonna be flowerly and that is it, okay? I'm gonna narrow it down to what I know that I'm not gonna get sick of smelling like and keep it like that so I don't go overboard. All right, that's how you do it. Tip two of only five things you need to smell good and look good this summer is get you a good dry whole body deodorant. That is it. And that can last you the whole summer, okay? Wear that deodorant the whole summer because that is all you need, okay? Now, if you want to get it scented, that's up to you. But I would say get a dry, unscented one. Let's just be f for real. Who is smelling your underarms? Except for the guy that you might be sleeping with over the summer. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, get you a regular good dry whole body deodorant. If you are an advocate watcher of my channel, you know the one that I highly recommend is for you to get the Lumi deodorant. Now it is kind of pricey. It is sitting at $15 at Target on the shelf right now, but I'm telling you it works and it lasts a long time, okay? I've had this cookie since January, December, probably even longer than that because I've been talking about this deodorant for a minute and I am still using it, okay? When it's the summertime and it's hot outside, this is my go-to thing because this is the only thing you need. You don't need 50 deodorants in every freaking scent, okay? Get you a good deodorant that is dry because it's gonna be hot outside and that's a whole body one that you can not only just put under your arms but under your boobs, between your legs, anywhere you sweat at, babe, okay? Make sure that deodorant is multifaceted so it can work in different ways. We only need one deodorant, only one. Get one deodorant and that is it. 
Okay, my third tip might be a little shocker, but just hear me out, okay? I feel like you should only wax this summer. And the reason why I'm saying that is because shaving is complicated, okay? Shaving crosses ingrown hair, shaving can cause hyperpigmentation, and then you need other problems to get rid of that problem, okay? You see what I'm saying? Waxing is so simple and it lasts the longest. So you don't have to keep buying products to replenish on your shaving supplies when you could just wax. I love to wax, okay? But I only wax my legs and my underarms myself. I do not not do my kudu mama area, okay? If you wax your own kudu mama at home, girl, I'm scared of you. You are brave and I'm scared of you and you might need to be checked out, babe, okay? Unless you're an esthetician and you went to school and you do it professionally, babe, what are you doing? So for the kudu mama, I go get waxed. But for your underarms and your legs, the reason why I'm saying to wax it is because it'll last longer. Like when you get a professional wax done, it usually lasts about two or three months. Mine's do. Okay, that's basically the whole summer, especially you live in Chicago. Now, if you live in another state and you have summer 365 days a year, you're fucked. But for me, I can get a wax in the beginning of the summer and I'm good for the next like month or two. You see how that's saving money? Ah, you know, you gotta think that way. I highly recommend for you to do it. Like I said, not only does it last longer, but it also is a great investment to do to really, if you wanna save money and budget. When I wanna wax my underarms and my legs, I'll either use my own like sugar paste that I'll make at home to wax, or I'll go get an at-home wax kit from a brand called Flamingo that I absolutely love to wax my legs and my underarms. But I have not waxed or shaved in a month, okay? So I would do that tonight. Okay, tip number four, you might smack me on because you might disagree with me, but stop buying so much fucking perfume. You don't need any more perfume. Especially if you're a girly girl like me, if you have seen my perfume videos that I have put up on here, I have a lot of fucking perfume that I don't wear. Okay, because I have so many. Hoarder, okay? Hoarder is a mental diagnosis that you need to be in a mental asylum for, okay? You're a hoarder. Mm. Stop buying more perfume. Wear what you already have. I know you have three or four scents that are your absolute favorite that you wouldn't mind smelling like every day and use those. Unless you're watching this video and you wanna buy more perfume cause you don't have any, then yeah, go get you some perfume, but only buy two or three perfume scents that you love and you don't want, you don't mind smelling like so you don't burn a hole in your wallet. All the perfume I've bought over last year, I need that money back, okay? Cause I'm broke, <laughs> but yes. Cut down on so much perfume that you buy and only wear what you have, okay? Cause I'm telling you, already in your collection, you already have what you wanna smell like, so wear it. And another thing that I would recommend that you should do this summer as well is start wearing hair perfume. I don't know a lot of people that wear hair perfume. I've just started wearing hair perfume and I love it, okay? It really does just help everything just all your scents just like go together. I love layering not only perfume on my body, but also perfume in my hair. Like it really is a game changer. So check that out as well. If you really wanna smell exotic and make your scents last longer, put some perfume in your hair, girl, cause it's the shit. I'm not telling you to go buy these, but these are the three perfumes that I definitely am going to be smelling like this summer. This is Love & White Creed Aventus. It smells so elegant and it's so soft. Beautiful for the summer. Clinique Happy Heart I got from Ulta. Oh my gosh, this gives St. Bart's. Gorgeous, it is such a lovely smell. And then this is a perfume brand that is in Target that I got sent to in PR. It's called Flower Bed and it smells so good. These are my top three that I'm definitely gonna be wearing back and forth this summer cause I absolutely love these. And then for hair perfume, I love the Juso. I don't know if I said the brand right, but this is the honey infused hair perfume. This is a, the floral edition. It smells so good. And then when I layer it with my other floral, I be on fire, okay? Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. And for the fifth tip is narrow down your body washes, okay? Like I said earlier in the intro of the video, the 15 body washes is crazy, okay? Have you ever seen those TikToks where the girls in their showers have like 15 Dove body washes? Like, ugh. we're not using those every single day and you don't need that to have a hot girl summer, okay? You need two body washes. One that really tends to your skin problems and another one that smells good, okay? And that is it to last you the whole summer, okay? Until you run out and you wanna replenish. That is how you stop burning a hole through your pocket and budget. All right, when it comes to self care. Sometimes I have so many fucking body washes in my shower that I get overwhelmed and I have to give them away cause it's just too much and then they just expire and I never use them. It's stupid, okay? Let's change the way we think about self care, okay? I'm telling you, you don't need all those body washes. Get one for your skin and one that smells good and girl, you be set.
This summer is all about looking cute, feeling good, and smelling your best, but how to do it without burning a hole in your pocket, okay? I hope I gave you guys some really good pointers on how to narrow down your self-care routine and your self-care budget so you can look and smell good this summer without breaking the bank because it's ridiculous, all right? I was cleaning out my bathroom over the month that I took a break and I had six body washes in my shower and 10 underneath my sink. Okay, I need to be in the mental uh, asylum asylum because what the hell? And if I know that I'm a formal hoarder when it comes to self-care, I know you watching this video is too, okay? And that's why you clicked on this video for some advice on your mental disorder. Okay, girl, I feel you, all right? It's hard, I know it is, all right? Unless you have the money to, to splurge on self-care, then girl, do you. But if you don't, listen to this video, all right? Like I said, I hope I gave you guys some great advice. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I am so happy to be back. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.